Hi, I'm B. I'm back again for Social Engineering Part 3. Well, today in today's video, I'm going to steal a password from Mac OS and I'm going to use a root account since I don't as we since if we want to hack something we, we we don't want to become just a user and we don't want to just access that machine and with a user privileges so I'm going to show you how is it possible to hack an account so stay on the video um, so let's get started so as you can see I am using an empire so um, the, uh, this is the tool I'm going to use the last time I did not use this but this empire is used uh, this is this kind of attack is usually work since it do not rely on any program or any exploitation so which is basically mean that it this will work and other in any windows or it will be linux windows mac os unix so here's what i'm going to do right now as you can see on the video all right so as you can see that the machine name this is my agent so i'm going to interact with this agent this is the target computer this is this is the target machine so I'm going to inter interact it right now. I am interacting it right now. So I'm going to I'm going to use the module to see the list of the module that I'm going to show the module to see the list of the module. So as you can see in here that there are too many modules that we could use. And also you can see the private sec that it means that it is private and it's going to work for Linux only. So at the up the above you you will see the multi the multi so that means that you could use it in all different platforms or it could be windows um, and uh, you can see the piggyback and for this this only for the OS that if the user is logged in with the admin then we could just simply use this and we can log in we don't need to steal the password we don't need to do anything just use this module and then we could use this as an admin but today um, I'm going to use the multi sudo spawn. Um, this is to this is to get the information that I want from stealing the password. But I know this is the information that I want to gain access in the root account. But stealing the password, we're going to use the different module. So, um, all right, let me check it. There it is. Um, this is the collection OS prompt. I'm going to give a prompt into that. Um, I'm going to give the, a prompt to that. I mean, that machine, and then the user will enter that password because he will she he or she will never know about this. Because uh, right now I'm, I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to copy it, use module, and going to paste it and enter, and then info. As you can see in the info, I'm going to set, uh, right, so as you can see in the info, we don't really need to you to do anything, just execute, and then you will see a module is not object safe. Uh, that means that we're going with the this, so that means if there, there is a digital forensic, then they would know that this computer has been hacked, so we would leave a trace, so I'm just going to execute it, right. Um, just just why so we're going just to say execute it then as you can see here in the module it prompt the app store alert so as a user there's nothing you can do about it so I think it's true did <laughs> yeah I mean that depends on you so there's nothing really can do we can do about it so it could be we could just cancel it or we could just even if we cancel it then we could just prompt it prompt it over and over again until the until then so i'm going to uh, i did just put a password and that's z as you can see in the hacking side you can see the password that's z and then i'm going to just use sys info to see if the syntax and okay it's back and back and sys info and then you'll see in here that the high integrity that means that we're still not in the root kit we're still not admin so what i'm going to uh, i'm going to who am i then 
as you can see the user is still Zeus so we're still a normal user so so <laughs> I'm sorry for this so I'm going to use a module again this is to the, the late module that I just well, I just tell you that so use module prefix multi and double tab to see the bachelor and pseudo phone so i'm going to use the pseudo phone yes and then info then as you can see in the info the listener and the password is not yet uh, the value of the listener and the password is not yet uh, it's still blank so we're going to set listener we're going to change that into http1 and then for the password we're going to set password all right so we're going to uh right now i'm going to use the password the three uh, the six z the password that we just seen lately so set password into z six z and then info this is to double check that everything is correct so and after we're going about this so double check so we're just going to simply execute it and done so we're going just to execute it and yes i have executed it already as you can see in the video so let's get back and back and then list this is to this is what we call uh this is what happened the first one as you can see that is the original target and now we we, do, we use another interaction we just create a new uh, this is not the a new target but it's the same target but we, we're going to interact it so but the only difference about this target is the first one is as you can see in the high integrity it means one it's it says one that means that we are admin right so if who am i we're going to check the who am i then we're go, uh, then this is what happens which you can see that the root you see the root one so that means that we could do everything we could do anything about that machine we could up, i mean even though we're user we can still upload and up, delete or something like that but the thing is we could go into the database we could do we could just do whatever we want to do so this is how scary it is to if the hackers were able to control your pc even if it's just a user so um so this is for uh, I, i'm not gonna show you the steps on how did i create that how did i do that it's just that this is a cyber awareness and i want all the mac os user if there's something that prompt that requires you a password then do not just input your password be mindful that the user that everything before you use the machine you before you use the machine you have already inputted all the password you have already set up this apple id whatever it is no uh, no I, i'm not sure about that but this will give you an idea so if anything so far in the future that needs you prompt there's something that prompts that needs to access your account is to access your password then be sure that you double check it and cancel it first and if it gets annoying then why not ask yourself that if i don't if i'm going to input the if i'm going to input the password what will happen if i'm not going to input the password what would happen so that's it this is all there is to it so i hope that you learn a lot then so stay tuned for my next video and my next video is for basic security and this is for the small business and the big business i know that uh, okay i'm just going to explain it later bye bye